Hello everyone! Welcome to today's episode of Path of Exile by me, Clectic Andrew the Gamer. And welcome to the Riverways and to my horror, the dreaded monster of the Skeletal Spriggans. These pendants are not what I'm afraid of. These monkeys are not what I'm afraid of. These monkeys I kind of love. They're kind of like little XP... XP, um... Boosters. Snakes. Snakes, I hate the snakes. They spit too much acid at you. Too fast, too too much. I don't see the monster I'm afraid of here in the riverways. Because this western forest that we are visiting today of the from the forest encampment. Oh there it is. See that little bloomy thing? That little pod? That pod is the most dangerous thing ever. Let me show you if I can kill a few of these spriggans, skeletal spr skeleton spriggans. I killed them all, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, monkey! Monkey! Be no, I want the monkey to live a minute. Because the big monkeys, the chieftains, will... Beat their chest like that! Yes, beat your chest, monkey! Yes, more monkeys from the tree! More monkeys! More monkeys! More XP! More XP! Please, more! More! Give me more! Really want more? Then shout it out louder really want more than play it out louder or what's the next line i'm singing usher it's like the only usher song i like it's like the only usher song i know i barely know anything about usher except his name is a job title for uh people at a movie theater uh, do they still have ushers technically at movie theaters or I'd imagine at, uh, playhouses, yes. Stage plays, yes, they would have an usher. Because they have to have an usher to close his doors, so... The sounds of the city are not interfering with the play. They have to have ushers to show people to th where their seats are. Make sure that when you come back in from smoking a cigarette or something, that you have your ticket on you and where you're seated and make sure you're not trying to steal somebody's seat or... Ah, Spriggans! Spriggans! Okay. Oh, there. Did you see how I was slowed down for a second there? Those little pods that they... the skeletal Spriggans burst nearby you? They... Watch. Right here. Watch. No, those aren't Spriggans. Aren't those not Spriggans? Those are Spriggans. But look at that damage! Look! Look at my minions! Look at those little tethers! Yes. Oh. Those little pods that the Spriggans do, if you get ten Spriggans around you, and you don't see them, you don't see those little pods at all, you're gonna, you're just standing there spacing out like, hmm, what's in my bag? Oh, this, I'll move this here. And then next thing you know, you'll be dead. Because they do that much chaos damage to you. And they do it so quickly, too. Like bolt, that's nice. I'm actually doing very well against the Spriggans today. See, look at that. Three three pods right there. They have energy shield too. That's not fair. Look at that. Look at how fast I'm dying. Look at how fast I'm dying. That's not the monkeys. Ah. That is not the monkeys beating on me. That is that is Spriggan cast damn chaos pods. They're pod people. They're evil little pod people. I've never seen that movie, but I know the term pod people. Odd person. And something about how you have the little X on the back of their neck. Because what was that? H.C. Bailey or Game Grumps that was talking about it? Where the camera, or the kid's just talking to the person about, like his mother or something about the pod people. And then the camera spins around, around her head. And she's got a little X on, her, on the back of her neck. And, and then you're like, oh, no, pod person. Run, kid, run! That's a pod person. How's your day, everyone? YouTube, everybody. How is your day? I hope you're having fun. I hope you're enjoying this video. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you've gotten this far. We're five minutes in. 
I hope you're enjoying. I hope you enjoy my terror of the Spriggans. You know, actually, Etrian Odyssey 5 has a uh, Spriggan monster in it. I... They're not very vicious. Not the normal Spriggans, but the... What is it? The big Spriggans, the warrior Spriggans. They're, they're tough. They will wreck you a little bit. I don't know if there's any other... Like, uh... Sprite palette swap of the Spriggans in, the, in Entering Odyssey. I never got any farther than where the Spriggans were in that game. I got up to that, that third level boss and he wrecked me. I've gone up to him twice now and he's wrecked me every time. I just cannot figure out how to fight him. I think the you know, it's always bad when you play an Etrian Odyssey game the second time around because you know where to go. And then you end up getting to a higher, tougher area faster. So you're a lower level. It's not always fun to do that. Not that it's not fun to... Not that it's fun to grind, but you gotta grind a little bit in Etrian Odyssey to... You gotta find those places to grind. It's like Final Fantasy VII. You gotta find those places where the monsters give you 200 AP. Then you gotta have the Bruner, the Platinum Bangles and the Yoshiakas or whatever that give you the two time everything that gives you the double AP boost, AP growth. And now in the end game, where I'm, I'm playing Final Fantasy VII right now on my own time, and I'm up to the end game. I'm in the crater. And the crater is so tough. Because I'm actively crashing my game. I think it's the system getting too hot. But actually one time I was trying to learn the monster monster skill, the enemy skill for my one for the fourth material enemy skill material, you know. And I ended up dying because I controlled the monster that uses the magic breath, the parasite. And I learned it because I had the monster manipulated, I used it on my team. I learned it. Only problem is everyone died. So I instantly went back to a state of unlearning it. Ready, exile! It is time to hunt! Yes! Yes, these little skulls here that donate, like, the little noise symbols, it looks like, from it, from the world ends with you. They donate, be, they denote, denote beasts that I and hard hunts. He enjoys hunting them. They're, they're the thrill of the hunt. These ones will satisfy the first ones. Be worthy sacrifices. Jeez. We, <gasps> white socket items. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, so good. So yay. Let's see here. Any good replacement for my white silk vest? That's well, not too bad. It's got res and life on it. It's got quality. Which, that's actually like a bad... Because that, for that, to have that much equality and that much energy shield on it, it had to have a lower base energy shield... Than this one did. Starting energy shield. Eh. Now this. This is an item that is a uh, tier higher than this silken vest. So it has a base higher starting energy shield. Ooh, plus it's getting 10 more. 10% 10 more. Life. No res, though. Let's check the character sheet. In the defense tab. Do I need resistance? I need fire resistance. But it's not vital, I think. So yes, let's go with this one. Oh no, you're right. It only has one jewel socket. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, if, if I still had Herald of Purity, not, if I didn't red socket this item, I could have uh, put that Herald of Purity into the new vest. Oh, hey, look over here. 
there's somebody over here. Let's talk to her. Alira. She seems to have a little encampment here. You have a powerful aura. Ah. Oh. Sunset before a storm. So let me run. A sunset before a storm. That's a uh, visual. My little and she wants to rub an idea against me. And in the east. Against my spirit. Our lives in Rayclast even more miserable. And then there's the matter of the amulets around their necks. Oh, you know what? She's one of the bandit lords. And apparently the other two bandit lords stole something from her. The amulets. When they were friends. And she wants the amulets. And a pair of tongues. Ooh, she wants to be a fine friend. Well, if you help Alira, the bandit lord... You will be permanently granted five mana regeneration per second, no matter what. You'll always be regenerating five. 20 global critical strike multiplier. Hmm. 15 elemental resistance. That's pretty nice. But you know, go away. Ah. Uh, let's leave Alira to her. Let's leave Alira for now. We'll come back and talk to her some other time. Yes, she is one of the three bandit lords plaguing the forest encampment, that little river dam encampment area, and the tribe of the Asmeri living there now. She's one of the heads of all these bandits running around trying to kill us, slaughter us for some reason, like they want to skin us alive or something. That's how bad they f Oh, God. Uh, actually, while I'm here, let me go over a new monster type here. If I could find another one that isn't trying to super actively kill me. Because we will be finding Alira's bandits here. We have the Shadow Archers, the... Shadow Bandits, I guess they're called. That's the name of their club. Not the club they used to beat us with, but the club they... Uh... And they're blood guards. What I'm specifically looking for because it's also a Lyra's martyr. Like martyrs, they blow themselves up. Which is a bad use of the term martyr, because that's not really the best thing I think to do as a martyr. I mean, you don't throw away the only life you got. Just to become exalted, I think. Personal opinion, I don't mind. But this lore here, this proclamation. Proclamation. What is it? We, the court, the court of, of Reckoning. You, Deodri... Against God. I'm gonna have to listen to that in the video. Of God's creation. Oh jeez, it's just like the Letters of Exile. Unlawful enslavement of eternal oh, but it's from the time of the Eternal Empire. Of the innocent. Murder of the servants of purity. Murder of the servants of purity. Severe crimes. I do sentence Doedri Dark Tongue. To oh, Doedri Dark Tongue. Interesting. But Ash, may her life serve as penance for the lives she has taken. Oh. Let purity sweep away the dust of her deeds from. Our High, High Templar Vol. That's not the first time we've heard that name. Commander of the army. Of Commander of the army of purity. Interesting. Interesting. What's that? It's not a little glowy thing. Oh, it's an arrow. <laughs> okay. There's an arrow stuck in that stone. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, we're kind of... in the area where the Eternal Empire had its, like, citizens. Like, a small towns here and there. Small town at the crossroads, and... Malagaro and his... Chamber of Sins, his research factory, but what's this gamut here? Oh, Blackguards! Lovely! Hey, this Captain Arteri is here guarding the area. If we go over here... Oh! It's Chevron's Barrier! We have found the road that leads to this barrier that we met, that we met an impasse at when Piety threw it up. 
That's not a good phrase, but... Oh well. He has a letter. Now that we've killed him, let's read his letter. Atiri, my beautiful captain. My beautiful captain. Oh, captain, my captain. To trust any other with this most vital of tasks. This is the only pass between the inner and outer empire. No further exiles are to enter the inner empire. We have material enough for our. We have enough material for what work? Barricade remains in place, and if any exile should somehow kill me, murder. I will send for you when my work is done. Oh. She's sleeping with him. Okay. She called him beautiful, but I guess for a reason. Wait, what did that say? The thaumatic emblem. Where is it? A sigil of thaumaturgy... I think that's supposed to be engraven, but it's like... Special. Well, it goes in here. Now we can talk to Bessel for a reward. For opening the way forward. Because, if we go through here, we are back in Act 1, The Prisoner's Gate. Very, very nice. The way forward has been opened. Open the back passage between the Western Force and Prisoner's Gate. Talk to Bestel for a reward. I think I will do that, right here and now. Sounds very good. What could that reward possibly be? Because anytime you're in an act, you portal open a portal, it goes to that Axe town. Say I'm in Act Two when I'm when I've traveled already to Act Three. I open a portal in Act Two. I go back to the Act Two town. Yes, it was a very fine poem, Bestel. Oh, a mighty feat it was. Hey. I'm an occasion. I'm proud. I'm I'm overjoyed. Hey, it's a book of skill. Yay. No, another passive point. Mm -hmm. Now, Nessa has something new to say. Ah, oh, your place is here? My place is here. Oh, okay. You ease the suffering. How sweet of you. A very fine flower indeed, is she not? Yes, Chevron's barricade is gone forevermore. It's at times like these I recall I'm a man of action, not words. Should we encounter each other in the Ooh. forest, the roast boar's on me, my friend. A boar is on hand for me in the future. Stay sharp out there. Well, I'm going to return to my portal to the prisoner's gate and walk back through to the western forest. And I'm going to continue hunting monsters for Einhor, Einhar, the beasts, for the Beastmaster. So where have we been around here? We can go around the edge of this cabin too. This barricade of pieties and atreys. How was that? Why did it just shake like that? No, no sanctum today. No sanctum, no sanctum. No sanctum nary. Ooh, is that a good shield? It is a good shield. But it's not yellow or blue. That guy vanished. That guy vanished like a th like a bubble on a needle. Ooh. Yes, definitely kill the martyrs before they jump onto you and blow up. That's always the best thing to do with them. The martyrs in this game. They do a lot of damage. They do like percentage of their life to you. You know this little red bar. Mini health bar. That monsters have. and I think we've found another beast for Einar. This one has something. Uh, oh there's two of them here. Yay. More monsters. More monsters. We are friends beast. Until we slaughter you! Ha 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 ha! Oh, there were three of them here. Or were they four of them? There's four? Oh! There are no more worthy beasts. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Einhar. Oh, goodbye, Einhar. Farewell until next time. Well, that's not too bad. We have, uh... Completed the, t the task for Einhar. 
Pretty good, pretty good. We'll have to visit him in the menagerie sometime. Talk to him about what to do with the beasts. Oh, I forgot to pick up the waypoints back in the riverways. So let us return there. The waypoint for the riverways is going to be along this road, really. It's going to be about halfway between the forest encampment and the western forest, typically. But it can be closer to one or the other. Like right here. Oh, we got a new map, a new instance of this map. So here's the waypoint right there. As we can see, there's these weird little statuette things. These markers of some sort. And what looks to have been an old path that has weathered away. Mostly. Let's see if we follow it somewhere. Can we follow it somewhere? Will we follow it somewhere? Can we follow it somewhere? May we follow it somewhere? Go away, Razor Fangs. Oops, clumsy me. Yes, the wetlands. What could possibly be here? Well, not much. Just some more rows. Some more bandits hide camping out. I wonder why they don't like try to. Everything in here just wants to murder you. It just like instant they see you, they go murder, murder. Climb aboard the murder train. Ooh, yay. Good level up, yay. Crabs. Savage crabs. Oh boy. Many bears. Big bears. The bears. Big bears. Bear, bear, bear. Bear, bear, bear. Bear, bear, bear. Bear, bear, bear. bear, bear. Okay, let us level these up while I'm waiting for a second. Oh, there's a spriggans there. I wonder I'm taking so much damage. Is there not a sprig in there? What is causing me so much trouble? This is plain old yellow bear, that's all. That's all. Just a bear. Oh. Bears hit hard. Bears claw so hard. They claw so good. So good. Uh uh. So good. Uh uh. They want to eat me? Oh, did you see that little heal the bear did there? Whoa, that hurt. Why did the bear teleport? Uh, bears have a skill that is basically enduring cry. The skill gem, which is a war cry skill, it heals you a little bit, it taunts enemies a little bit. And it gives you gives you endurance charges based on how powerful the enemies you are taunting and yelling at are. So it's a pretty good skill. Makes sense for a bear, really. Because they go, and they start charging at you like a... Or like in Red Dead Redemption or something, where you, you open the cabin door and... Rawr, bear! Rawr! I think that happens. Because I remember watching a little bit of an Eco B playing, I believe, for a dead redemption. And people going, hey, look in the cabin. Look in that cabin. And, and he's like, okay, penguins, why? And he opens the door. Bear! It seems there's somebody named Oak here. And another bandit to Kamut. So, looks like we have found a second of the bandit lords. Will we kill him for Lyra? Will we kill him to bring peace to the Forest of Hammond? Why don't we just talk to him really quick and see what's up? You strike me as someone who craves a higher purpose. Ooh. Something worthy. Witchy, do you crave a higher purpose? Peace. Do you crave peace? Battle for this forest. Every day my brethren and I battle huh. and die with Creighton's rats of the bridge and Alira's thralls of the old road. To spare the, spare the lives of money. You need take only two. Oh, what's it? What's it? What's it? 
The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. And he wants the ones around Creighton's and Lyra's next too. The strength to bring about peace, huh? Well, if we help Oak, we will permanently generate 100, uh, one percent of life per second, not a hundred percent. Two percent additional physical damage reduction permanently, and twenty percent increased global physical damage permanently. Ah, oh, that sounds so good for a wanderer, doesn't it? Hmm. There might be something else here to find. Oh. Oak, could you call off your bandits? Help. Help me or not. They want to know if you're helping me or not. They're attacking me without knowing that you've even asked me to, that for my help. I'm not in control of my minions. My men stand on their own two feet, with their own strength. And if they get on a line, I bring piece of hammer down on their heads. If there's war, I will bring peace. If you help me, we will have peace. Sounds like a... Speech giver there, doesn't he? Now, why am I having a hard time finding this thing? Because I always have a hard time when you're in stupid wetlands. Have for a while now. Must have been an update to the pathing to the map building algorithm. Made things a little bit frustrating. Where is I know where it is. It's down here. Uh, no, yes it is. It's down here. See the exclamation point? Exclamation point? This is it. Over here, we will find a way into the Val Ruins with tree roots blocking the path. Perhaps they can be opened at a later time. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, has anyone new had anything new to say in town? Ancient gateway, huh? That ancient the northwest? Ancient it's a peculiar thing, yes. It's a peculiar thing. Not of the eternal empire. The Val. It could be Val in origin. The, the most antique of texts. And some of the most antique of texts. Oh. It is the Val who began the use of virtue gems well before our imperial ancestors. Oh yes. Usually somebody who has access to their archives gives you a much better theory. And information. I could have given you a more tempered they do a little light reading. They remember where, where all. The... You want to talk to me about snakes? Their skin makes good boots. <laughs> Their spit good boots. Painful, painful death. death. Yep, that's grossed. Da 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 da. It hunts with you. Oh, you want to talk about the vipers too? Viper eats monkey. Monkey eats viper. Ugh. The the monkeys eat, eat the vipers. I don't think monkeys eat, normally eat snakes. There is no peace for us in this war. I know crocodiles will eat snakes, I think. Well, hello. It is a new huh. day. The past yes, the path to the sea is open. Yes, I am a legend, indeed. Legend of the Exile. That is the new title of this game. You sure you didn't have anything to say here, Mayor? Yeah, nothing. Hello? Well, you know what? Let's talk to Einar. I said I would have visited his menagerie. Let's go do that. Hmm. The menagerie. Interesting place. Welcome to yes, I am welcomed. This is where I keep the beasts we capture. Do not <laughs> worry about their well-being. Do you not worry about their well-being? I do not think they worry about yours. Yes, that is quite a little bit of humor. Oh good, you treat them well. You clean them, and read them poems. 
We slaughter them. We slaughter them at the blood altar. <laughs> that part is not so friendly at all now. Worthy of survival. That, that part is not so friendly to oh. us, but, but if you read my poetry, you may consider it an act Poetry is great. <laughs> That's great. My poetry is great. Please look around. Of course. Put up a sign next time, Einar. Do not feed the animals. Much easier than telling us. The arena just north. The blood altar. The blood altar. Sacrifice by combat. All the ritual of sacrifice by combat. Once you have captured a few beasts. Ooh, a ritual. The yes, they are watching. The first ones are watching. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Bye. No. Oh. Let us do this. Hello, Blood Altar. What can we do with you? Ooh. Because we have this Roa. Whoops. Am I level 30? I'm not even level 30. That monster's too hard. <laughs> Is that one of the ones I already fought? I might have monsters from other characters on here. So I guess I can get eight chromatic orbs for killing these monsters. Four jewelers. Oh. You're weak. Oh, let's do that. Yes, let's get four jeweler orbs. That's nice. Kind of like hit and run with the Wanderer, of course. Don't die here. Don't die. Don't want to die. I think if you die here, the monsters get let out or something. Like, they've run rampant. They've eaten your dead corpse. You'll be revived in a few seconds, but... Like, the monsters need to get out. I don't know. I've never... I hardly ever die here. I hardly ever use this thing at all in the first place. It's not too bad for if you've got like a million monsters stacked up and ready to go, but... It helps if you specifically... The ritual is complete. Yes, the ritual is complete. Yay, four jeweler orbs. Pretty nice. Now, let's use this book right now. Well, we can create rare... Unique items of these types because we have these monsters. Yeah, the basically the like the Kraag, Kraag, Savage Crab, the Ferret Goatman are the red monsters we find for Einhar, and the yellow monsters are the other monsters needed for the process. What is that? It's a squid. Well, since I keep opening this book, let's look at this book a little bit. This book is very detailed. I mean, it's got all these cool pictures of monsters I don't think we'll ever get to see. It does have pictures like frogs. These are frogs. I mean, what the hell did this world do to frogs? Uh, but it keeps track of basically the monsters you're catching and... It's not as good as the Pokedex, I think. It could be better. Of course, it's not like it's a major function of the game, but anyways, we still got all these uh, special. Hey, here's some recipes that don't include uh, using red monsters. Oh, look at these. I like these. The aspect skills. These aspect skills are a kind of like another herald that reserves your mana for the cost of using the special aspects of the um, aspects. I think these aspects are built up, are function off, based off of the first ones. There's like four first ones that you could fight as a super boss here, but I've never seen them. Hey, Einar, what do we have to say here? have rewarded you yeah Capture more beasts perform more rituals this is what we will do yes the first ones have many blessings to bestow we will discover them now go survivor more beasts await wow the end is coming exile of that i'm sure just not so sure of when maybe tomorrow maybe three years from now no more than three years from now. When the end arrives, 
I don't have my arrow sitting there. <laughs> I should move that. You can't see if I have my arrow here. Come on, Einar, give it to us. Well, that's a lot that we've done today, isn't it? So I think we'll leave it here for everything today, everyone. And until next time, take care of yourselves and have fun. Bye-bye.